Hello. I'm here to talk about a reality star, Portia Williams Guavaria. I've been shuffling for a while, so I'm going to give it one more shuffle and get started. Past, present, future. Okay, let me tell you what, give you a little bit of the background. Portia Williams Guabaria is married to Simon Guabaria, and she's recently signed to come back to The Real Housewives of Atlanta season 16. In addition to that, we recently found out that her husband is, has been um, found to be a fraud um, and entered the country illegally. He committed a number of crimes and lied about it on his paperwork. So all of this has just come out to the public. And on these reality shows, you know, it is your reality, your life that you are supposed to be living on t television. So we're going to take a look. <laughs> To see what's going on with Miss Portia and just to get a a look at her reality. Make sure you can see this. There we go. The first thing for Miss Portia is the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords represents Quick, quick, quick action. This guy is flying, flying. He's like, okay, let's do this. Very quick, but not quite planning it out. So I would say that in her past position, and this is her most recent past position, I would say that her decision to re-enter the reality arena was that of, hmm, she didn't have a chance to really think this through. She, she really didn't think it through. Could it be because of financials? Possibly. Because this is certainly... She's used to the reality arena and she knows that she can really um, not only receive a check from the reality show, but she can also do a lot of promoting and things of that nature. So she can really reap the benefits of her being on that platform. However, you know, there's you take the good with the bad. The good with the bad is this. This is the bad. The bad is the nine of swords. And right now she has anxiety. She just feels awful. She is holding her face like, what is going on? I have to go and deal with, what do they call Kenya? The, um, the assassin or something. <laughs> She has to deal with Kenya and Kenya is definitely something. So, and, and who knows who else is going to be a part of the ensemble. So just to have to work with people and not only work with them and have it, um, have the situation in regards to her husband, um, just, uh, painted in, in, in the worst way, but it's in all of the blogs and it's being reported all over and it's just, it's a terrible thing. So that's something that she's currently dealing with and it's very difficult for her. However, her future looks bright. 
she's going to push through. She's not. She's a fighter. She's going to push through. And she's going to be weeble wobble on that horse. <laughs> she's going to just push through. Now, is it going to be hard for her? Yes. Because all the things that she wants is here with the Empress. And it's going to be difficult. Because she wants growth. She wants to, she wants abundance. She wants to evolve. She wants to be, she wants to be the Empress. You know, the Empress represents the ultimate feminine, good parenting, good judgment, you know, uh, the ultimate woman. However, with all these things going on, can she? Will she, won't she forever be her judgment? Be doubted? And when you say the ultimate woman, how she connected with Simon? A lot of people said, you know, she broke the girl code. And this was an opportunity for her to come back swiftly and say, oh no, we were meant to be. If you were meant to be, you would not be in this situation. <laughs> you would not be holding your face and saying, oh my goodness. So, she wanted to be able to say, no, 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 you were wrong. And unfortunately, that's not to be. Her final outcome is the two of wands. And I think if you look at the two of wands, I don't know if you can see that, that little ball is the world that he's holding and he's looking out one wand is behind what he's leaving behind and he's going forward so i would say she will be leaving she will be leaving the country and she will be making plans to create a new home So it sounds like, you know, she will be traveling with her husband if, you know, if the uh, immigration courts create a final action, whereas he has to be deported. And I did speak to that. I'm not saying anything because I haven't put the video up yet. <laughs> But, um, yes, she's leaving. So, thank you for coming through. And I didn't put any additional questions. If you have some, leave it for me in the comments. Um, I, someone uh, inquired about Carol Middleton, and that's why I did that reading. So, if you have something in mind, leave it in the comments. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.